Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Zami and today is our very first Vlogmas video. So today I decided that I was going to do a Christmas wish list slash ideas that you guys can use for your, for your Christmas wish list this year. Let's get into it. So I made a uh, Google slideshow with uh, pictures of all of these ideas that I'm going to be referencing and different examples that you could get adding onto these. So I'm just going to name some pretty big like area genres that you can go into and slideshows will be a little bit more specific on what exactly you can get for Christmas. Um, I'm first starting off with Nike shoes. Really just any Nike product in, to in, in general. So I have mainly Nike shoes because that's kind of like my vibe personally and what I see a lot of people like to tend to go for. Some popular ones are um, the Jordan 1s, the Mids, Nike Dunks, and Jordan 4s. Oh, for the shoes, also New Balances. New Balance 570. You cannot tell me that those shoes are not worth paying millions of dollars for because they are actually really really good and they look nice because it kind of mixes like the sporty style with like fashion and once you blend them together it's good because it's like a really good everyday shoe personally i love the 570s or and the 574s and i believe also the 270s as well i think i'm not sure but they might be the 270s um so those are some really popular ones that a lot of people like to get um, personally, I would go for the 570s. Um, that's definitely uh, something that you can go towards. I have put makeup on here. So really just any makeup is fine. Definitely makeup is kind of a 50-50, especially if you're ordering online, just because you know you want to get your exact shade and everything. But if you're starting out, definitely stick to concealer. Don't really worry about foundation. Just concealer, mascara. Like a lip tint or like a tinted lip balm or something like that. Primer, definitely. You really want to prime your face. Even if you're not buying a lot of makeup, you definitely want to prime your face because that's really going to help with having that makeup grip on and not look too cakey in the end. So definitely invest in a primer. For primer, e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. I have it. I love it. And I will use it forever. Also, we have Tech or really accessories so really any kind of technology if you're wanting to get a new phone new phone um, but for accessories wise I have things along the lines of like the phone charm or the phone bracelet chain things I have no idea what they're called um, phone cases are definitely a big one airpod the airpod maxes so the headphones or really just any kind of like nice headphones that you want really key but um, I know the AirPod Maxes are really popular, so definitely you can go ahead and get that. So for the tech accessories, definitely uh, watches. So like the Apple Watch is a really good one as well. And yeah, moving on, clothes. Now, with this one, it's really whatever you want, low key. I can't really say that there's a definitive like wish list for clothes because everybody has their own style. But I kind of just said the basics of like what I would get or like what I want for Christmas. Definitely hoodie sets are a big one just because it's winter and you're going to need a cute hoodie set. Basics. Um, so these are like really nice jeans or like sweatpants, like solid color tops like these in the slideshow are really good. Now going on to clothing accessories, I have some on here. So I have headbands, sunglasses, and claw clips. Claw clips are kind of cliche at this point now, but I can't lie, they're actually good. So Loki gets them. And for sunglasses, I'm thinking Christmas wishes for me is more of what I'm gonna be like using in the spring or summer season. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really go out in the winter a lot, so there's just nothing for me to like really utilize during the winter time you know what I mean so definitely sunglasses are a big staple headbands as well I say this because not a lot of people wear headbands these days but I think they're just really cute just like the basic ones like these not necessarily the pearl ones but the basic cloth ones are nice just something simple something basic you're like kind of last minute go-to 
for you know whatever kind of day honestly and yeah so yeah moving on to jewelry um definitely i would say for my brown skin girlies gold is probably your best bet if you're a silver girly go ahead and get silver but definitely i think gold kind of looks a little bit better just to complement your skin tone you can definitely get gold plated or gold filled i would definitely say um gold plated or gold filled your best bet would probably be gold filled not that gold plated is bad but gold filled just kind of is a safer bet when you're going to you know get jewelry because gold plated could be like gold plated with alloy as a base metal and you know i know a lot of people aren't really big fans of alloy just because it's easily corrosive alloy and copper are really corrosive and some people are allergic to the nickel that might be contained in some of those metals or just any metal that contains nickel at all so i think gold filled jewelry is kind of a better bet and it's a safer way to go to but definitely gold plated gold plated with um, platinum or titanium as the base is definitely the way to go if you can't get gold filled these include like bracelets um, personalized jewelry is definitely going to be big you can get you know letter initial necklace the name necklace and like the really cute font um yeah um earrings as well i really like the the chunky small hoops definitely had those as a staple i had them as a ch young child can never go wrong with gold hoops they don't have to be like super big they can just be like they can be tiny they can be small they can be medium size but i think it's just a really good staple just for like any day basic um rings so like these like these like kind of fun uh trendy rings i really like them um and pendant necklaces especially this heart one in the sideshow here it's really really nice and yeah just something to kind of like you know zhuzh up your outfit so yeah moving on next to is body care now body care is something that is kind of sensitive for some people i know um, but definitely if you're somebody who has like a signature scent that they want to kind of go for definitely get products that have that scent within them so for example for body care I have your basics would be like lotion body scrub and body wash perfume or soap um, so I do have some like examples here on the slideshow um, definitely I have the vanilla version slash cocoa butter on the left hand side and then on the right hand side i have more like strawberry raspberry types of smells um yeah i'll be honest you can never go wrong with vanilla because it's a basic smell and it's not too strong but it's not too like it's not too strong but it's not not too strong if that makes sense so yeah um definitely these are some that are really good brands dove is a really good brand vaseline too is a really good brand tree hut for scrubs definitely like i don't know what else to tell you tree hut for scrubs do or die low-key um but yeah so that's pretty much for body care and also i decided to put on room decor just because i know a lot of people kind of get bored with their room sometimes so definitely if you want to switch things up definitely some basic room decor is a must-have um so i have fairy lights up here or LED lights like I have in my room here. LED lights LED lights are also a good, you know, kind of backup if you don't want to get fairy lights. Um, getting your vanity, I know it's expensive, but, you know, it's definitely going to be helpful, especially, uh, you know, growing up as a teenager. You kind of need a space to yourself to kind of, you know, get ready in the morning and be a little bit more organized. So vanity slash and desk space, and I have my desk slash vanity over here on my side here. Um... Definitely um, getting some shelves for shoes, aka a shoe wall or a sneaker wall. I've seen a lot on Pinterest and basically uh, people have like this designated wall side and then you just like put like shelves up in this coordinated order and they put all of their like Nike shoes on there and it looks really, really nice. They color code it and I think it looks really nice and just adds a little bit of you know extra oomph to your room. So that's a really good idea to do. And again, mirrors, which kind of goes with the vanity idea. But yeah, going on to slippers, I have um, Nike slides, Uggs, and the Yeezy slides. Yeezy slides, I say this only for the comfortability of it. I know not a lot of people really like the whole fashion idea behind the Yeezys, but 
I would sacrifice cuteness for comfortability any day of the week. Let me tell you. I think Yeezys can look nice when styled correctly. So don't take it too much as like, you know, I hate Yeezys. Yeezys are ugly. I don't like the vibe of them. They can actually turn out to be good, you know, once you kind of learn how to like, you know, style it. It may not be your style, but definitely I think you can do Yeezys with like a basic, you know, cute little white fox hoodie and sweatpants set with gray Yeezys or white Yeezys or like the beige Yeezys. I think basic colors like those are kind of a more safer way to go rather than getting like, I don't know, red. I don't even know if they have any red, but you know, I think you can work around that. Um, definitely Uggs, Uggs Tasmans and Uggs Tasmans. Um, Tasmans, I think the difference between the two is I think the Tasmans with the S they're not platform, so it just has that like kind of like engulfing shoe kind of shape, but it's without the platform. It's just like it's regular like shoe base. The Tasmans with the T's, those are the ones with, those are the platform Tasmans. Um, those ones are really, really good. I definitely recommend if you're first time getting it, getting in either its original color in brown, black, or I believe like a the light color I think is it like a like a beigeish kind of color I don't know what it is but definitely go for that I've already ordered my Tasmans um I'm not getting the platform ones I'm getting the 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 short platform ooh not short platform I'm getting the low rise ones without the platform um I'm getting those in brown so definitely those are some really good investments to do especially in the winter time and they're cute so. Why not? And they seem comfortable too. For slides, um, other than the Yeezys, Nike slides as well, but I'm kind of iffy about that one just because Nike slides, they tend not to be the best in my opinion. So really kind of be a little bit more considerate when you're getting Nike slides. Uh, but yeah, um, socks. So definitely Nike socks are a staple. I've seen them everywhere. They look really, really good, and I think that they can work for more casual, um, sporty looks if you're kind of into that kind of vibe. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Definitely gave out some really good wish list ideas that you could definitely put into your Christmas wish list this year. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button to see many more of my vlogmas uploads that i hopefully will be keeping consistent with for the rest of the month all right bye, -bye.